Hey everyone, so we are going to practice some math today. So we're actually going to be going over pages 133 and 134. So it's going to have these numbers at the bottom. 133 is going to be at the bottom. But if it's easier to figure out what page you're looking at, there are four colorful butterflies going across the top and a big pink flower at the bottom. So if yours doesn't have butterflies, clocks, and flowers, on it and make sure you flip the page over to make sure you're looking at the right side of it but if you don't see those you might need to go get your mama and get her to help you out so if you're looking at the same page as me then you're ready to get started if not pause it for a minute and go get an adult to help you all right and let's get started on the first part so the first part you're going to see four butterflies a pink one a blue one a pink and yellow one and a green one so normally when you see something like this, I tell you a number and you write down the number. But this time you get to hear a combination. That means I'm going to tell you a math problem. You need to hear it and then we'll figure out what the answer is. And you'll write the answer on the butterfly. You're not going to write the numbers I say. You'll write the answer to the problem I tell you. All right, we're going to do it together. And I am going to give you dots to help you go through it. Let's get started. So the first problem for the pink butterfly, put your finger on the pink butterfly, is 3 plus 1. It's 3 plus 1. What do you get when you add 3 plus 1? You can use your fingers to help you. One, two, three, plus one more. So three plus one equals how many? Four. Did you get it? It's okay if you didn't. This is pretty new still. If you didn't get it, just change your answer to four and then slide over to the blue butterfly. 0 plus 6 equals what? Write that on the blue butterfly. 0 plus 6. I'll put up the dots now. 0 dots, that's what that empty box means. 0 plus 6 equals what? Zero plus six equals six. All right, now it's time for this pink and yellow butterfly. Listen carefully. Two plus three equals what? Two plus three equals... I'll put up the dots to help you now. Two dots plus three dots equals what? Five. Remember, if you don't get it, it's okay. You can just change your answer. Now listen carefully to this last one. The other ones we have been adding, this one is subtraction. That means you'll take away four minus or take away one. 4 minus 1. I'll put up dots to help you. 4 dots minus 1 dot. So you're taking away one of the dots. How many dots are left over? 3. Did you get that? You're working very hard. Slide down to where you see these clocks. Now they gave you the hour hand. That's the short hand. You need to, I mean, they gave you, yeah, the hour hand, the short hand. You get to add the minute hand, the long hand. So the first time, what time does this say right here under the green clock? It says 7 o'clock. Now we know this one, when the big hand points up, it's 
o'clock. So where should the big hand point? Up, straight up. So I'm going to draw in a big hand now. You go ahead and draw in a big hand pointing up to the 12. What time does that say now? Seven o'clock. Make sure you draw your hand and then come on over to these, this purple clock right here. So this time it wants us to write what? Seven, 15. Well, none of these are 15 and I didn't actually teach you a trick to know which way to point for 15. But I did tell you, you could count by what? Five. So you don't start counting at the 12, you start counting at the what? The one. So we're going to count by fives until we get to the number 15. Let's get started. Five, 10, 15. What number am I pointing at? The three. So I'm going to draw the long arrow pointing at the three. Go ahead and make sure you did that too. So, what time is it? The shorthand's pointing at the seven hour, so it's seven, 15. Did we get it right? Nice work. All right, last clock. It's kind of a bluishy green teal kind of color. It wants us to write the number, I mean, the draw the hands to match the number 730. We know when the big hand points up, it's o'clock. When the big hand points where, it's 30. When the big hand points down, but we can check it by counting by fives too. Let's count by fives to check. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So is down going to be 30? Yes, it is. Draw your long hand pointing down. Let's check it. Now, if I kind of pull this line out a little bit more, it's not actually pointing at the seven. But remember, it's not eight o'clock until it points directly at the eight. So if it points at the seven or all the way through the gap, it's still the seven o'clock hour. So we still say seven. So what time is this showing? Seven thirty. Are we right? Great job. Now this next part is a word problem. So listen carefully as we go through it. Do you know this number word right here? Three. Three bees buzzed around a big flower. One bee flew away. How many bees were left? So now let's write that down. Three bees buzzed around a big flower. Where does that number go? Touch the box that you think the number three will go in. Three bees buzzed around the big flower. It goes right here. Make sure you write your three there. So three bees buzzed around the big flower and one bee flew away. So we have three and we're taking away how many? How many bees flew away? One. So we're going to take away one. Let me draw a line on one of these bees so that I can remember one of them is gone. So three bees take away one bee equals how many bees left over on the flower? One, two. Two bees. So right here where it wants us to answer the question, how many bees were left? What's your answer? How many bees are left on this flower? Two. Good job. Flip your paper over so that you can see this ice cream cone. It wants us to, to buy this ice cream cone. So we're going to circle the dimes we need to buy this. What number is this? Eight and a zero. 
It starts with an 8, so we know it's in the what family? The 80s family. So, if there's no number right here besides 0, is what is it? It's 80, because it can't be anything else, because 0 says nothing. So, it's not 81, 82, or 83. It's just 80. And we know a dime is worth how many cents? 10 cents. So when we count dimes, we count by tens. So we're going to circle the dimes and count by tens until we get to the number what? 80. Are you ready? I'm going to count and I'm going to circle. I want you to count and circle with me. And if I get a little bit ahead of you, it's okay. Just either pause it or catch back up in just a second. So count by tens and circle with me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. What number did we want to get to? 80. Did we get there? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. We did. So do we need a circle anymore? No, we don't. Now this next part, I'm going to get you to pause the video and then come back after you've answered them all in just a minute. Go ahead and use your fingers, your dots, or count on uh, like we've learned in the classroom to do this next part. But be careful and watch the signs. These first two rows that I just pointed to are all addition. The numbers get bigger. The last three are all subtraction, so your numbers get smaller. So go ahead and answer them on your own. Pause the video and then come back when you're ready to check. Go ahead and pause now. Now that you've uh, written all your answers down, we're going to go ahead and check. Six, when I say the problem and point to the box, I want you to tell me the number. If I say a different number, it's okay. Just fix it so that you can practice it right. Six plus two equals what? Eight. Next door, four plus four equals eight. Three plus seven equals, oop, I meant to say three plus four. I just told you the answer. Silly me, the answer is seven. Did you get eight, eight, and seven across the top? If you didn't, just fix it. And then move on down to this middle line. Two plus one equals three. 2 plus 5 equals, oh, that was wrong. Silly me, it's not seven, 8, it's 7. So ignore this 8 and write a 7. Remember, across the sky and down from heaven. So this right here is, <clears throat> Miss Jester made a mistake. It's supposed to be 7. Make sure you have 7 right here. 4 plus. 2 equals 6. So you should have 3, 7, and 6 on the middle line. Now, drop down to the bottom line, and we're going to check it. Now, remember, these are subtractions, so the number should get smaller. 2 minus 1 equals 1. If you had two and you take one away, you only have one left. 10 minus 10 equals zero. If you have 10 and you take all of them away, you have nothing left. Six take away one equals five. Now on this next part, you can go ahead, look at the number words and draw the shapes. Pause it when you're ready to check. 